To create a guidance line for your field, open the guidance creation tray. There are several different forms of guidance lines you can create. AB guidance, A plus heading guidance, curve line guidance, headland guidance, and center pivot guidance. A recorded guidance line will be replicated across the field by the set implement swath width in the implement settings. However, the original recorded line will be located in the original position regardless of the set swath width. To shift the original line, you will need to use the field manager. To create a straight AB guidance line, use the AB icon. When your vehicle is in position for the A point, press A. You will need to drive your vehicle a minimum of 10 meters in order to record a B point. If you have recorded the A point in the incorrect position, simply press the A again to override the original with the new position. Pressing the X will cancel the recording process. When you have reached a position that you want to set the B point, press B. If you put the B point in the wrong position, you can press B again to override the original. If both the A and the B are in the correct position, press the tick to confirm the creation of the guidance line. When recording an AB guidance line, it is recommended to record the two points as far apart as possible. To create an A plus heading guidance line, press the A plus button and enter in the desired heading. The heading displayed by default will be the last guidance line you created. With the desired heading entered, position your vehicle and press the tick button. The guidance line will be created and the A point will be the position of the vehicle when the line was created. To record a curve line, choose the curve icon. Pressing the record button will record the guidance line copying that of the vehicle path driven. To create a straight line segment, you can pause the recording. This will be represented by a dotted line coming out the back of the icon on the screen. When unpaused, this will cause a straight line to snap between the current vehicle position and where the original line was paused. A curve guidance line can be used for any irregular shaped fields and will auto populate regardless of coverage. It will also save to the field memory and auto adjusts width based on the current implement settings. This will allow for an auto steer function on the first pass around any infield obstacles such as dams or impassable areas of trees. A user can quickly and easily toggle between curved lines and straight line guidance around obstacles using the guidance scroll button or if there are multiple guidance lines, a long press of this button will bring up the available lists of guidance lines to quickly choose. Pressing the stop record button will stop recording the current line. Where the line ends, the vehicle will remain engaged and continue on the last heading. To create a pivot, choose the pivot icon. Position your vehicle so that you can follow the radius of the circle and press A, then drive the vehicle a minimum of 15 meters following the wheel tracks recording the curvature and then press B. For best results, you will want to record the curve for a minimum of 50% of the circle. Once the B point is pressed, enter in the distance from the point you recorded the curve to the outermost part of the pivot. When a guidance line is recorded, it will be created with a default name which will be that of the line type and a number that represents how many lines have been created for this type of pattern. You can edit the name of this line at any time in the field manager. Refer to the field manager videos for instructions on this process. When your guidance line is recorded, it will also now be associated to the implement width and the operation in which you are performing. You can choose to filter your available guidelines by either width or operation. This will filter the available guidelines making it easier for users to select the guidance lines they want or toggling between different lines through the field. A user can also have the ability to adjust the curve smoothing which will be used on both the headland guidance mode and curved guidance mode. With curve smoothing on you can adjust the turn radius. The larger the radius, the earlier the guidance system will turn in order to keep within that set radius for the change of direction. With curve smoothing off, the system will not calculate a smoothing factor and corners may end up as a 
instant change in direction. This will allow the vehicle to drive deeper into corners but will be a trade off as curve smoothing also filters any small sudden changes in the guidance line that could have occurred when it was recorded. Other settings related to guidance is the tight turn warning and tight turn look ahead time. These two settings will determine when an on-screen warning will be displayed to indicate that a tight turn is approaching to alert the operator to either slow down or take control.